In this video, I'll show you how to install the Chamberlain MyQ Smart Garage Door Opener. So at the end, you'll be able to use your smartphone to open your garage door, no matter where you're located. So let's get started. First step is to take your smartphone, Android or iPhone, like in my case, both ways will be exactly the same thing and open the App Store or the Google Play Store. You'll need to download the app that is over here, MyQ Garage and Access. You're just going to get this app. Once it's downloaded, you're going to open it. You're going to press OK. Make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on on your phone. OK. Then press Allow. Then you're going to check this and press Continue. And now you'll have to create an account if you don't have already one, and I'm sure you won't have if it's the first time you're using this product. So you're gonna tap on get started. And here there's multiple ways you can create an account using your Amazon um, credentials, your Apple or Google account. So choose one of these. If you don't like any of these choices, just select continue with email and you'll be able to select your country, zip code, and create the account. So I just created my account, and this is the next screen that I get. You'll have to press continue. And here it's up to you to decide if the app will track you or not. I'll say ask app to not to track. Next step on this screen, you'll need to select the device you're trying to set up. And in our case is the Smart Garage Hub. You need to select this one and click on the plus symbol. Then click on the first one, since this is the one we're having here. It will tell you what you need to make this installation successful. So you need to have obviously a compatible garage door opener, Wi-Fi in your garage, your Wi-Fi password, that's the Wi-Fi password of your um, home, a ladder or a tall chair, and drill with a Phillips screwdriver and a Bluetooth um, signal from your phone. So just check these one by one and, and press I'm ready. Next step, you'll need to uh, connect the hub Okay, using the power adapter that is included to a wall socket. It could be any wall socket. Uh, we're not installing it at this step. We're just plugging it in to connect it. Okay, I have connected it to a wall socket. You should see the blue light flashing and it's flashing. So you're going to press next once you see this. Your device should appear in this list. Just tap on it. Press pair. Select your Wi-Fi network of your home and type the password. Once you type the password, press next. You should have the message saying that it's connected. This means you did all the steps successfully. Press next. You can put this aside. You're going to take this piece. And if it's not already done, there is a small tape here with an arrow. Just pull it this way. In my case, it already has been done. Then you're going to push once on this button and a red light should appear, like you probably saw over here. Next step is to pair both of these together. Then you're gonna push once on this button and a red light should appear, like you probably saw over here. Next step is to pair both of these together, and you're gonna push again this button and release it right away. This light should flash. This will mean that they're paired. 
Now the next step is to mount this piece on the top panel of your garage door on either of the corners here or over here, not in the middle. To do so, they provide some Velcros in the box. Just have to stick them in line like this on the device. Well, here the other part has been removed, but yours will have a tape. Just peel the tape and you'll have to press it so it sticks to either of these corners. Make sure that you clean this part. Here it's dirty, so, it, uh, so the adhesive sticks well. Okay, so I have stuck mine here. Just make sure that the top part, you see it says top here, is pointing up, so that you don't install it upside down. You should be able to read my cue without any problems what, once it's installed in place. Now it's time to take, now it's time to take this bracket that will mount the hub and you need to place it somewhere on the ceiling or on a wall. It must be at least four feet from the garage door opener itself. And if you're placing it on a wall, it should be at least, at least six feet from the ground. In my case, I'll place it right over here on the ceiling. We're far enough from the garage door. To do this, you just have to take the bracket and you see there's a screw symbol here. Make sure that this, face, uh, this uh, side is facing you. Since there is another side with a screw and a bar on it, this means that this should not face you. Okay, so you're going to position there, take a pen, put two marks over here. And if it's on a stud, you can directly put the screws that comes with it. So it's staying attached firmly. Okay, now I have attached it. I put the screws that came with it. Time to take the hub. You just have to align it. You see there is an arrow here and there's also an arrow on the device itself. Align it and then and then you just have to turn it until it feels that it's staying in place. Now you just have to connect it to a wall socket. All right, so I have connected to my power socket. Obviously, it's not pretty. I'll do be a better job later by hiding this cable. But for now, this is all we need. Then take back the app and you'll need to select the brand of your garage door opener. It should be written on it. So in my case is LiftMaster. LiftMaster is right over here. Then it will ask you to locate the sync button of your garage door opener. And depending on the model, it, it, it will be located in different places. In my case, I have to go on this side, remove this panel. And my button is right over there. And when I look over here, I can see the button. Mine is a red one. So on the app, I'll go down, press found it, then select which color is your button. Mine is red. Now next step is to press the button you just found like a doorbell. So we'll do just this, press once, then press next here. And now it will try to pair it. Here we go. This means that it's paired. It will just take a few seconds. So the app shows you what to do next. Next step is to press next. And now you can choose to give a name to your garage door. I'll just keep it garage door. And then press next. Press next. Now it will just tell you how to install what we already installed, the hub. So it just tells you what I already showed you. So you can just press next many times to skip this tutorial and press finish.
and press OK. Now you can test it by simply pressing the blue button and close. You're going to hear a beeping. This is normal, it's just warning that the door will close. And you're finally done. You can now operate your garage door using your smartphone. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below.